And now for some insight, let's talk to Victor Gao, Chair Professor of Soochow University. Professor Gao, good to see you on China 24. How times have changed. And just five years ago, Xi Jinping and then Taiwan leader Ma Ying-jeou agreed the two sides of the Taiwan Strait should stick to that 1992 consensus on the One China principle and maintain the status quo. Looking at the current situation in Taiwan under the leadership of a different leader, where do you think the two sides are now and where do they go next? I would say cross strait relations between uh, China's mainland part. Taiwan province uh, is at the worst point for several decades and it's very, very dangerous because there are political forces headed by uh, Taiwan pushing the edge of the envelope for independence of Taiwan, which is absolutely not allowed by uh, the 1.4 billion people, including the, on the mainland side as well as in Taiwan. So there is danger and there is the risk of further escalation. On the other hand, I don't think it is realistic for anyone in Taiwan to expect that the so-called Taiwan independence is realistic or is achievable. That's a dead end. And I think whoever who is in government positions right now in Taiwan need to come to that sound and reasonable conclusion. And they should not stand in the way of the megatrend of eventual reunification between the two sides of the Taiwan Strait. And it requires the wisdom and courage and vision of the leaders here in mainland China as well as in Taiwan province to do the right thing to make sure tensions are reduced or eliminated, goodwill are restored, and we move in the same direction. Peace is most important, but no one should be allowed to use peace as an excuse to push for Taiwan independence. That's the key. Professor, where do the two sides move next? Because when we talk about advanced ties, advanced cross-strait relations, it needs a consensus to be had on both sides. And now do we have that consensus to advance this very complicated relationship, as you say, that is now at a very low point? Yes, indeed. If we uh, look at the economic side of the equation versus the political side of the equation, I would say Taiwan and China's mainland part uh, are fully integrated with each other. On any given day, there are about one or two million residents of Taiwan working, living, traveling, studying in mainland part of China. That's a mega trend. So economic integration is not only going on, but it's not reversible. On the political side, mainland China, uh, the government of the People's Republic of China have all the good intentions for a peaceful reunification eventually. However, Tsai Ing-wen and her followers are really pushing the edge of the envelope, trying one way or another, including, for example, teaming up forces in the United States, try to achieve the so-called independence of Taiwan. That is the main hurdle right now. It's not that mainland Chinese government wants to change the status quo. It's the Tsai Ing-wen and a group of people who want to change the status quo in the direction of Taiwan independence. That's not possible. That's very dangerous. I think we need to re-engage with each other to make sure that the dangerous forces in Taiwan are not continuing on to the dead end and they will be becoming more reasonable and resume the dialogue with the authorities here on the mainland part of China so that we will use our senses, wisdom and uh, a reason and ration, a rationality in order to make sure that the situation is not getting out of control and the well-being of the people here in the mainland of China as well as in the Taiwan province are fully protected. We all want to see a peaceful resolution of this issue, mm. but I think the government of the People's Republic of China has made it very clear that nothing is excluded mm. in order to make sure that the two sides of the Taiwan Strait are eventually reunified under one China. That's the only condition for the reunification Understood. of China. Professor Victor Gao, appreciate your analysis and insight. Thank you so much for making time for us. Thanks.